Julie Watts is live in the sunset where the tap water is being tested. Julie? That's right, Liz. You know, the city's testing out a pilot program mixing groundwater with local reservoir water. And recently, some folks here, they noticed that it tasted a little funny. The city says it's absolutely safe to drink, but after some at-home testing, some folks around here aren't so sure. It was not my intention to start a panic. But this San Francisco woman, who asked not to be identified, was the first to notice something strange in the sunset. The water was tasting weird to me. So she ordered this at-home test. It was highly rated. And the results? had a ripple effect across the Sunset District. I didn't expect to see that. Positive for pesticides, according to the test, at levels above the EPA's allowable limits. She says she immediately sent her results to the city, then posted her findings on Nextdoor, prompting a handful of her neighbors to conduct at-home tests of their own. Five separate households in the Sunset and Parkside have come back with positive test results for pesticides. Five tests all coming back positive. Something's happening. But water engineer John Pujol warns folks not to panic based on test strips alone. That's not to say that five DIY kits mean there's a problem. I think it means it's worth investigating. His startup, TAPSCORE, which connects consumers with labs for low-cost water testing, has received nearly a dozen test requests from San Francisco in just the past 24 hours. No water utility in this country depends on test strips for testing. There's a very good reason for that. He notes at-home tests can be a good low-cost option for something like lead, but warns they're subject to human error, contamination, and not generally reliable for things like pesticides. How accurate do you think these tests are? I have no idea. I'm not a scientist. That was one of the reasons why I sent my results to the Water Quality Department. The city's own groundwater testing did show elevated contaminants in one well last month, but it was well below the EPA's allowable limits. The city also notes that groundwater was diluted, mixed with Hetch Hetchy and other sources before it ever reached the tap, and they say they stopped mixing any groundwater on October 4th, a few days before the first reported at-home test. I think the community would like independent testing, and in the meantime, I'm not drinking it. Now, the city does insist that this is safe, and they have now taken 21 samples from homes in the area, including from the woman that we spoke with, and they've sent that off to a certified lab. We should be getting those results next week. In San Francisco, Julie Watts, KPX 5.